Welcome Aquarius. This is going to be your general love reading. So if you so happen to click on this reading, then trust that there's a message here for you. We do have the sun in the reverse. Um, we are going to look into your past, present, future, the challenge, and why all this is happening. Okay, we have the Spirit of Wands. And let's get one more. Oh, we got two more. All right. There is something here with the sun, um, which can bring, feel like something's going, you know, like something's dimming the light here. Something's feeling not promising. But with the sun here, it's more of a sense of like negative, like if it just feels like very, like something, maybe negative thinking or thinking things are not going to go a certain way. But it does promise a better days ahead. There is a sense of releasing something here. And then we do have the spirit of wands, which I love. The spirit of wands is all about excitement, exciting new beginnings, passionate, new love connections, Six of Wands, so much attention, recognition. There's advancements here um, and for and accomplishments. Four of Swords is showing there's a lot of healing that has been involved. This is more of being solitude, feeling good about yourself, resting when needing to rest. So let's go ahead and see what is going on. Let's get more deeper into the reading, Aquarius. We have the Two of Pentacles. There's a little bit of up and down emotion. Something kind of feels a, a little out of balance we do have the page of swords energy seven of pentacles and the five of swords in the past we do have the somebody from the past coming in thinking about you reminiscing about you they're looking at you as like they're desiring you here it looks like somebody's wanting to put in the effort um, and then things here with the temperance wanting to balance out with you. Someone is is literally like, I don't know if they're spying on you or if they're seeing you on social media or what, but I feel like somebody is definitely thinking about you a lot. In the past, it does feel like there's a lot of conflict and tension, maybe not seeing eye to eye and things. Um, but I, I feel like this person is, def you ha they're, you're on their mind. It looks like a, like, news is coming towards you here it could be good news however but it's being it's traveling fast we do have the queen of wands with the knight of wands the three of cups it looks like somebody's wanting to reunite wanting to come together here okay uh definitely on the pursuit it very very fast energy very a lot of attraction so let's see what is going on with this aquarius let's see what's going on Page of Swords. Somebody wants more information. Oh, someone just wants you. But in the past, it's showing maybe some mind games or something here with this individual. Knights usually represent, you know, inconsistency. They don't stay very long. But I don't know. Let, let's see. Let's get this Page of Swords energy. Ace of Cups. All right. Temperance. Someone wants to make peace after feeling like, you know, things were, you know, like this connection was like abandoned in some way. They're feeling like, they're feeling a bit lonely. It feels like there is, you know, a history. I don't think you see this coming for some of you guys. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Maybe you don't know that this person still feels this way. Uh, but there is like a hard decision too. Um, hmm. There's a lot of worry here in the mind, which I feel is coming from the sun. There's a need, oh, okay, okay. That's what it feels like. There's a lot of worry here. Let's see if things are gonna go wrong. Maybe in the past, in the, in the challenge is showing that you know, there's a lot of secrets, things that were are hidden here. Um, maybe you feel like somebody is still very secretive and, uh, you know, it's just like, I don't know if I want to go down that path again or down that road again with this person. Um, the will, yeah, it seemed very karmic in the past. I mean, it feels like you may be getting recognition from a lot of people uh, or just like you're very attractive or you, you have that energy of just like attracting people right now. It could be how you're carrying yourself or just feeling like, you know, inspired or enthusiastic or just adventurous and that, that energy or that vibe that you're carrying will attract others. I mean, it does. It's, 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 it's contagious, you know. So something here with this person, man, they are definitely stuck on you here. 
with the hangman. It looks like they are wanting to, you know, work on things. They are wanting to hang out. It's hard for them to walk away and go in a new direction. Doesn't feel like a, it doesn't feel like, like usually like the eight of cups goes to their nine of cups, but it feels like they're re, like making a U-turn back to you here, Aquarius. Um, mm -hmm. Looks like somebody wants to start things up again, or they're just having a lot of emotions here right now, thinking about you, wanting to move forward with you, wanting to progress. Uh, here, we do have the King of Wands. Once again, fiery energy. There is something here with the King of Wands, though. There's like a like mixed signals with the King of Wands in reverse. It looks like somebody's like, they can be kind of unpredictable very argumentative you know one day they're in it next day they're not it could be very unclear at times when you're dealing with the king of wands there's a lot of fun when you hang out with them and stuff yes and i am i mean i'm talking about the reverse part of them of the reverse uh meaning it's a lot of fun to hang out with them but when it comes to like consistency or their communication they lack at that it, in the reverse like upright you're good yeah, when it's in the reverse, that's something that can, you know, be a really frustrating. Uh, yeah, Seven of Pentacles. It looks like there's investment here, but still, it's showing this person's care, like, still coming kind of off, like, mixed signals wise. Um, but I don't feel like it's your only option. I don't feel like this, that whatever's, like, coming in, it's like, the only thing that's out there. I feel like this is a person that wants to come towards you and I feel like you're a bit, you either don't see this coming or you're just, I don't know, but they are really want to hang out. They are really wanting to, you know, come forward. So it does show a lot of like some communication either to you or going back and forth, but it's like text messages, emails, like social media could be anything. But let's get the love oracles. intuition okay so gut feeling psychic six, six senses so you could kind of already predicted this player yeah that's what it seems like hmm. alone isolated lonely garden yeah it just feels like somebody here is like a player makes signals type of thing but right now yeah like I, it feels like they have their eye on you i mean they want to hang out and you never know like with tarot things could change all the time but right now i feel like this person is still operating kind of like the same in a way i uh, am yeah, and i am becoming a better person so that's a good this is this uh, what they want to confess to you uh we both feel differently about each other i can't tell you tell i can't tell how you feel so they, they are feeling like you may be sensing something about them. Maybe you already know something. You're very intuitive and they can sense also like, huh, like you're a mystery. Like what, they're like so interested in what you're thinking. There could be a person that asks you a lot of questions. Uh, if not, then I don't know. But yeah, it just feels like this person can't really tell if you're into them or not. Um, so I feel like that's where your intuition is at this time. Don't listen to others. Go within and feel your way through. Exactly. Intuition. Go fill your way through it. Saying. We have forgive. And act in the spirit of compassion. Keep the mind clear. Stand your ground. Set healthy boundaries. Okay. Move forward in new directions, Spirit is saying. All right. So, you could have had a tower moment with this person. It looks like there's other energies. Um, hmm. Resistance. Something still... They're still resisting something within their lives, but... Let's see. Let's get the Moonology cards and then we'll pull the Love Orb. Work through your feelings. That is last quarter moon in Aries and go wild. All right, we have, it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Acceptance, yeah, do what makes you happy, right? Like, have fun. Like, I love that. Because I feel like that's what you're doing. Okay, you're, you're, it's like 
something's going on here, fun times, exciting times, recognition, something here, whatever makes you happy here, Aquarius. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. So just go wild. That's what Spirit's saying. Just go wild. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. And work through your feelings too. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this message. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys for your July readings. God bless.